Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. There has become an anti-Trump aspect in the protests that are occurring across the nation and even all over the world. That's one of the reasons Trump wants them to be stopped. And I'm glad to see that people of all races have joined the protests. It's good to see white people actively protesting against racism. But as we face how deeply racism is embedded in our systems, it's time for us white people to confront our own racism. Most of us will say, oh no, I'm not a racist. But the majority of white people voted for Trump. Even, even some of the people that are out marching today voted for Trump in 2016. And that vote was a racist vote. You can't pretend you didn't know Trump is a racist. All of that was very public. The fact that Trump had refused to rent his properties to black people was repeated on the news extensively. The fact that he was still calling for the incarceration of the Central Park Five even after they had been proven innocent, that there was no secret there. And his birtherism and racist hatred of Barack Obama was no secret either. But it didn't bother most white people enough to prevent them from voting for Trump, or staying home, or casting protest votes for a third party. And, and, and all of you Bernie bots out there have to admit that many of you wanted Trump to become president out, out of spite. Somewhere between 12 and 15 percent of you voted for Trump. So racism is not just a, a character flaw of the right, it also exists on the left. It might be passive racism rather than active racism, but it's as clear as day. You had the chance to stand up against racism and you chose not to. Thanks for listening.